Bonjour, c'est Clara French in the Midlands. This video is about the imperfect tense or how to translate used to, used to do, for instance, or was doing. So first of all, let's have a look at what a verb actually is. It's a doing word, such as parler, to talk, avoir, to have, partir, to leave. Basically, it's any word which makes sense when you put I or you in front. In French, there are two parts in a verb, the stem, P-A-R-L, of parler, and the ending, which is the E of parler. Now, the E-R ending is your English equivalent of the two in to talk, except in French, we stick it to the end, and that's the only difference, really, which is why when you say I talk, you have to remove the E-R, because in English, you don't say I to talk. So it's the same in French. As we said before, the imperfect tense is used when you use used to or was plus ing in English. You've got to remember to change the ending of each verb to form the imperfect tense. But the good news is there is only one irregular verb and it doesn't even look irregular. So you should be okay with this tense. The tricky thing is to remember how to find the stem for the imperfect tense. You have to find the new form of the verb in the present. For instance, in nous parlons, you remove the ONS, you get le left with P-A-R-L, and then you add all your imperfect endings. And we'll see some examples later on. The one thing I want you to bear in mind is please don't ask me, how do I say I used to? There is no translation for I used to, because the used to bit is the ending you will stick at the end of the verb. So tell me which verb, what you, you want to say, what you used to do, used to eat, whatever, and then I can tell you. But used to on its own, no translation. Before we move on, I'd like to quickly mention my ebook about verbs and tenses that's available on my website at the link below. It's got a whole, a complete explanation of the main tenses we use in speech, a table of the main irregular verbs, and verb tables for you to practice your tenses. It's very, very useful, and I recommend you get it. Here's how to uh, form the imperfect. Let's take as an example manger. So let's go back to the present tense. The new form of manger in the present tense is mangeons, G-E-O-N-S. You have to insert an extra E there because if you didn't have it, it would be nous mangons and that doesn't work. So it's for a purely phonetical purpose, if you like. You need the E. So you remove your O-N-S, you get left with M-A-N-G-E and then you're going to stick AIS for je on the end, je mangeais, and that makes it I used to eat or I was eating. It goes for both. You see the used to bit is the AIS at the end of the verb. On mangeait, we used to eat or we were eating. Vous mangiez, you used to eat or you, used, you were eating. Il mangeait, they used to eat or they were eating. Let's have a look at some more. We've just done ER, now let's do IR as in sortir. So sortir, in the present tense, the new form is, is nous sortons, S-O-R-T-O-N-S, remove the O-N-S, stick A-I-S for je. Je sortais, I used to go out or I was going out. Same for descendre, to go down. Je descendais, I used to go down. Avoir, which normally is highly irregular, is actually regular in the imperfect tense. So, avoir, in the new form in the present tense, nous avons, A-V-O-N-S, remove O-N-S, you get left with A-V, stick your endings to it. J'avais, I used to have, or I was having. Faire, same thing, to do or to make, 
Take the new form of the verb in the present, nous faisons, which strangely enough is spelled nous faisons, but we say nous faisons, F-A-S-O-N-S, -S. chop off the O-N-S, add the A-I-S for je, and you've got the imperfect. You've got I used to do, or I used to make, or I was making, or I, I was doing. The one truly irregular verb in the imperfect is être. And when you look at it, it really doesn't look irregular. The only reason it is, is because the new form of the present tense is actually nous sommes, for we are. So that's not the stem you're going to use. You're going to use the obvious stem, et. It's actually a much better irregular verb than in every other tenses, where you couldn't actually predict them. This one, it's fine. It's not, I don't regard it as irregular in the imperfect. So the imperfect is the one tense where really you don't have irregular verbs, which is quite handy. On était, we used to be. Vous étiez, you used to be. Ils étaient, they used to be. That concludes today's video. Give me a like if you found it useful. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And you can claim your free ebook if you haven't got it already, The 12 Golden Rules of French, and just click the link in the description. A bientôt.